I want to tell you about the, um, the conservation momentum lab. Here's the basic idea is that you're going to look at a collision that looks just like this. Okay, notice I'm holding that cart still until just before the collision and then the small cart hits the big cart, right? And off they go together. Uh, notice also that, uh, that right after the collision, of course, the speed of that little cart goes way down. Okay, so ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to look at that velocity of that last cart of this, of, or the first cart or something, right? But if we look at the velocity of that first cart that's moving, and if that other cart is, is sitting still to begin with, right? And of course you want to make sure it sits still. You've got to hold your finger on it until just before the collision. Um, then ultimately, ultimately we ought to be able to figure out the momentum, right? Because we've got, you know, before we've got just the little cart moving, right? Big cart sitting still, right? So if we know that mass and that velocity, that's the total momentum before. And then afterwards, the carts are going to stick together because there's a bit of Velcro between them, right? And so now we've got the mass plus the mass, right? And then we've got the velocity afterwards, right? So we ought to be able to figure out the momentum before. P is mv, right? And then afterwards, momentum is m plus m times whatever that velocity is afterwards, right? So this will be more mass but less velocity, right? And then the question is, of course, is momentum conserved, right? This is one of those dorky labs where we kind of know it is conserved, but, you know, is it really, right? Um, so there's, there's three ways to do this, okay? The first way is with the range finder, and that's where we're going to stick. This thing has a little flag on it, actually, right? And then we're going to stick a range finder right here, and it's just going to bounce sound waves off of that, and we'll get a velocity graph that looks like this, right? <laughs> so there's where the collision occurs. Here's before, here's after, and we're looking for a clean transition with uh, stuff we can analyze there and stuff we can analyze there, right? Um, so that's the rangefinder way. Uh, video analysis is is uh, really similar. What we're going to do is put a camera, right, back here, right, and the camera is going to take a picture of this, right, and we'll be able to basically we'll be able to that video you just saw. We'll be able to click on that video and mark where this is uh, in the video frame, and therefore get ultimately get a graph that looks very much like this. Okay, and then the final way that we'll do it. I mean, you don't have to do all three. You just have to pick one of the three, right? But the final way you could do it, and this is the most technically challenging, right, is that you could use photo gates, right? And photo gates are basically what we'll do is we'll put a flag on top of this guy, right? Okay? And we'll make it go. The photo gates can time right down to a microsecond how long it takes that flag to go through the photo gates. So it's just like at the Olympics, the timing that they use there, right? So they will have a gate here that'll clock this guy coming in, and then you'll have to have a gate that, that clocks the two carts together, right? It's hard to draw photo gates because we're seeing it from the side, but that's what they look like. They kind of go down like this. But anyway, um, and, and in that case, what you'll know is, is, is you'll know that the length of the photo gate, you'll be able to divide by the time. That'll give you the velocity, right? And then the momentum is going to be just mass times the length of the photo gate or the flag, right, divided by the time, okay? Now, for all of these guys, for all of these guys, you have to calculate the uncertainty. This is what everybody, uh, so we've got the momentum before, right, and the momentum after, okay? And then we want the uncertainty of that, right? Okay, and so uh, people always have a hard time with this, but basically if momentum is mv, right, then the uncertainty of momentum is to the momentum you calculated that equals the uncertainty of mass over the mass, right? Uncertainty of the velocity over the velocity, right? So for these uncertainties of the velocity, we'll be able to go in and and uh, use or Log Logger Pro, right? And just go max minus min over 2. For the uncertainty of the mass, it'll just be half of the smallest unit. So if you can measure, you know, if it's 329.35 grams, your uncertainty is ridiculously small. It's plus or minus this next half of that next thing. So it's plus or minus 0 0.005. Okay, if you're using a scale that's that accurate. If you only have like 330.5, then your uncertainty is 0 0.05 like that. Okay, so you're going to have to calculate the uncertainty. And then the question is, do they, you know, do they overlap? Well, 
you know, you'll have to decide that, right? If it's, you know, if it's 137 and uh, 135, you know, gram centimeters per second or however you do it, right? Maybe it's gram meters per second, I don't know, right? Uh, those aren't the same, but if they're plus or minus two, right, then clearly they could overlap. So the question is if you draw them with error bars, right, okay, if they're like this, and the uncertainties won't be the same, right? Then these guys don't overlap, right? But if you've got an uncertainty like, like that, and even, even an uncertainty like this, right? Right? Even if the bars overlap, then you haven't disproven conservation of momentum. This would certainly mean either conservation of momentum didn't happen, or there's there's some problem with your calculations, right? There, or there's a friction force that accounts for it, okay? So that's the notion. Read the lab. I'm not going to read the lab for you. This is what you need to have. Everybody forgets to have a nice data table, right? So make sure you have a good data table and show your calculations. And then if you're IB, you can do conclusion and evaluation, okay?